everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of my AVP Let's Play series of Minecraft. And today, we're going to be continuing off episode 1. Because, um, what comes after 1 is 2. <laughs> and, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a lot of Tinker's Construct this episode. Uh, now, first of all, before I start with Tinker's Construct, um, I'm going to make sure... I might have already done this, but I'm just making sure. I'm noting down my coordinates in case I get lost. Um... I added two more mods called the Magical Crops mod and Morpheus mod. Um, the Morpheus mod allows me to sleep even when my alt's not sleeping, so that should be okay. I'm hoping it works. If it doesn't, then I probably did something wrong. But, yes, that's uh, cool. The Magical Crops mod allows you to... Right, let's go searching for some stuff. The Magical Crops mod allows you to um, grow crops that yield ores or even like bones and I don't know like anything that is in naturally Minecraft you can grow using crops now I haven't really played around with it much but I've seen other people play with it and I really want to give it a go so we're gonna see what how that's how that's going so anyway that that won't be this episode but um yes this episode we're gonna be doing a little bit of digging up clay and getting ourselves a smeltery going up from Tinker's Construct which is just basically a big humongous forge it allows us to craft some pretty neat tools and strong weapons and all that. So yeah, so for now I'm just going to be exploring, trying to find clay, sand, uh, what else was it? I think we need to make, what's it called? Here it is, grout. Okay, so we just need gravel, sand, and clay. Cool. Okay. So I'll be back once I've done all that. And, um, by the way, I tried to add some, uh, minimap, minimap mods with waypoints and all that. But the forge I'm running on at the moment doesn't support it. So, in order to run the minimap mod, I'd have to remove the Alien vs Predator mod. Because the Alien vs Predator mod only works with certain forge mods. I mean, forge versions. So, yes. That is unable to do. I'm unable to do that. But, we'll, we'll see. I only tried, I think, two. It was, I don't know, it was like yesterday, I think I tried it out. Um, journey map and raise minimap. Uh, there's probably some others, but yeah. Okay. Seriously now, I'm going to go do some boring stuff, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm coming back really quickly to show you one of the mods I added. So it's night time right now. I'm going to be sleeping. And what should happen is... But, uh, done. Uh, guinea pad didn't need to sleep for me to pass the night. So that was pretty neat. And I am I was looking for uh, sand. There's not a lot of sand around here. Um, go away, please. And I came up with this idea of using the Magical Crops mod to get some sand. Um, I'm not going to do much of it on camera, because I promised this episode would be a Tinker's Construct episode. But, basically what I'm going to do is I I went around killing seeds. <laughs> I mean, killing grass and just getting a whole bunch of seeds. And um, I th for some reason the crafting recipes are not working for the different crafting thingies in their Magical Crops mod. But um, there's this thing you can use called Essence of Earth and also Air and all that. And you can grow all this stuff and you can make like normal blocks out of it. Like for instance, I want to get sand. So I need Essence of Fire, Essence of Earth. And in order to get that, I've got to start growing these guys. And then I mix them, mix the finished product in a crafting recipe. And basically you'll see how it goes because I'll be cutting back every now and then. And um, yeah, so I've got to get a farm going. So... Otherwise, I've got to travel quite a bit just to find some sand. Alright. Okay, guys. We're back for about half a second showing you the essence seeds. They look neat. Alright. So, I don't know if you can use bone meal on these, but... Can you? I'm not sure if you can. I'm not seeing much happening. <laughs> I don't think so. Cool. Okay, I'll leave that there. Um, anyway, I've got some sand. Um, yeah, I found some over there. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't find any, so I just had a d double look over the area, and then I found some. So, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to get grab some sand, some clay, some gravel. Where'd I put the gravel? There. Okay, cool. And then we'll grab the gravel, the clay, the sand, and make some grout. Nice. And then we'll cook up the grout. And that'll give us some seared bricks. Ta-da! And then we'll go from there once this is all done. Alright guys, we're back, and I think I got everything I need. I got the seared bricks and all that stuff. 
Now, what we're about to do is science. Well, first we're going to get some seared bricks. Uh, this whole thing we're going to be doing is called a multi-block structure, which means that I probably want to be doing it outside, but there's more room. Yeah, screw it. It's probably dangerous out there. Anyway, um, I think I have a little bit of a gap back here. It's so cramped up in here. Let's get behind here. Cool. It's very crampy in here. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So, let's place down three seed bricks. Three seed bricks. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, it's really cramped in here. You know what? Let's go down one more level. Cool. Okay. So, the main reason I'm doing this all so early, I'm putting my, my time investing this into it so early, is because... You can double your ores, your ore output, by putting them inside the smeltery, which is pretty neat. And also, using the smeltery is the only way to get some of the most advanced tools in Tinker's Construct. So, yeah, there's that. So, let's do that. Let's do that. We're going to need a little bit more. Cool. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 is probably enough. Okay, so we've got one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. And that was actually probably too much. We need a few other things. We need the seared tank, which is what's going to melt everything down. We're going to chuck lava inside it. So we need a bit of sand. Uh, I'm just going to cook up half of you for no reason. Um, we also need a drain. We need a faucet. And we need a smeltery controller. Now I should have some more seared bricks in here. We've got a piece of glass. And then last of, last but not least, we need the... Is it like that? The seared tank. Cool. Okay. So the smeltery controller is... Oh my god, it's so cramped in here. Anyway, the smeltery, <laughs> smeltery controller is the brains of the operation. So... Basically, it, this whole thing won't work without the smeltery controller. Um, let's grab a bit of gravel, cobblestone, whatever. And then do that. And then... No, come back. And then we'll do that. And then... I'll dig out some more. <laughs> I really wanted to do this outside, but I haven't got a house going yet, so... It's sort of risky. Then we've got the smeltery drain, which doesn't want to place properly. We'll go like this. There we go. Have that thing pointing outwards, and then we'll have the seared tank. Bam. And then we just need to finish the multi-block by digging ourselves back out of this horrible mess. Doing this. Bam. There we go. Cool. It's fully functional. Okay, cool. So we just chuck some lava in here. Some more lava in here. Actually went downstairs and did a whole bunch of mining just to reach a bit of lava. Okay, cool. So, oh god, I'm stuck. Let me out. Please. Cool. Okay. So, the way this... Oh, my God. This is so irritating. Okay. So, first of all, we probably want to get... Um, I really need to rearrange all this. <laughs> um, we probably want to get a casting table and a casting basin. Now, first of all, since I don't have any gold or copper and aluminium, um, I can't make a casting size for an ingot size so the other way I could pull pour out stuff out of this thing is by chucking it into a block form so I'm gonna have to have at least nine ingots worth in there so could you stop <laughs> and so we'll grab some iron we'll let that melt up in here we have a whole bunch of iron it can only fit nine at a time that's fine we can actually bring this up a bit if we really want to but we don't have many seed bricks, so I'm not going to make it any bigger at the moment. So we'll chuck all that in there. We need the faucet. That's what you pour it out of. This will take a while to melt up. Then once it's... Okay, we're back. We had a massive crash. I'm assuming it was probably something to do with this. I don't know. As I said at the start of the series, this might be a very short-lived series. It might be a very long one. I don't know, because this is all... There's a lot of beta mods in here. So, yeah. <laughs> So, are you done yet? You're still going. Cool. Okay. Let's see how that stuff outside's going. Also, by the way, all, while all this is happening, 
I'm going to grab some iron, if I can find any. At all. Anywhere. You done yet? Give me some iron. You're taking a while. Okay, so I've established something. Um... I can't access the smelter controller on my end, but when I do it on guinea, guinea pad on the actual computer that's hosting the whole thing, it doesn't crash. So, we're just going to have to eyeball it for now. Um, there's another thing we can probably do. We can make a massive, massive furnace or something. Um, like we can put a whole bunch of these together and then we can modify the recipes by using one of the mods we have called the recipe modifier or something I can add. I'm not sure what it's called but basically we can put in custom recipes and we can modify the current recipes so instead of having to have the smeltery do all that stuff um, we just chuck it in a furnace and it will already double it like that but yeah this thing works I just can't access the UI <laughs> the user interface so yeah that's a bit of a problem but anyway, there should be 18 iron, iron ingots in there from the 9 that we put in. So, ideally, we should get two blocks of iron from this. Bam. And then one more. So, that's really neat. I think I can access it once. And then I'm not allowed to go back in it. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. It's so funny at the same time. Yeah, so that's the thing. Cool. Okay, so you're seeing what the smeltery can do. It can double the amount of iron or copper ore or aluminium ore or whatever. Um, you do a whole bunch of th whole bunch of things. And there's also a hammer I want to make, which needs one more iron block. Um, I want to make a tool forge, which is this guy. Uh, you can use any 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 types of blocks, but I'll just use iron. I need, actually need four iron blocks. We need a tool station, four iron blocks, and three seared bricks. So, we'll get some seared bricks. Already got them. We'll get his tool station. Just grab you. Cool. And then this should be done sometime in the future. And once that's done, I'll craft that up and then I'll show you what's going on. Alright, sweet as. We have the tool forge now, which is right here. And we'll place that down. Now, this opens up a whole different variety of tools we can make. Um, the one I'm aiming, aiming for is the hammer. Now, this hammer is pretty neat. I just need to grab some cobble. And I think I'm done. I already made some of the stencils in preparation for this. So we just use that one. The hammers take a lot of materials, by the way. That took eight cobblestone just to make the head. Then another three to make the tool rod. And then another 16 to make these two bits. Stone large plates. Now, keep in mind, this is just the stone hammer. Um, so it's one of the worst. I think the worst you could probably get is a wooden hammer. <laughs> But, keeping in mind that this is the worst tier of hammer, check this out. How cool is that? 3x3 three three it mines in. Well, I did mine up there because of the dirt, but that's going to make mining a lot easier. I can also modify it as well, but um, for now, we're just going to use this hammer to do a whole bunch of mining. Bam. Bam. <laughs> nice. I missed this guy. Alright, so that's about it for the Tinkers um, thing. Um, now that you've got the main idea of how I do all this, um, I'm probably going to forge some more advanced things without um, recording it. Um, I will maybe record some of it, but um, it's re really not much you need to see. It's just the same stuff over and over. Um, it's, but when you're crafting with metals, for instance, I'm using stone right now, you can just do it in here. But when you're crafting with metals, um, sorry, in here, um, you need to get that, then, for instance, get that, get that thing, then place that thing on a casting table, then cast some aluminum bronze or whatever around it, so it makes a bronze casting of it, then you need to place the bronze casting on top of another casting table, and then pour whichever material you want to make the hammerhead out of it into the casting. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... It's a process that's very repetitive, and um, I probably won't show you unless you want to see it. But um, yeah, I think that's about it for the Tinkers section. I'll be doing most of that off camera, and um, it's a very powerful mod if you like using it. I really love using Tinkers, Tinkers Construct, it's amazing. Okay, so what are we going to do next? Finish off the episode? I want to build a house outside. I really want to get a house going. So, we should have 
necessary iron in there. And we need a stick. We've got a stick? Cool. We're going to use a mod called Chisel to make our house. Sweet. Okay, cool. So let's break that down into ingots. Then we'll go like this. And this. Cool. And by the way, Tyrion. There's a few different blocks we can get. Um, how do I make that? Iron and stone. We've also got fantasy blocks. How do we make those? We make those with purple fantasy blocks, more stone. That's okay. Just for now, we'll probably use cobblestone. And with chisel, you can chuck in a normal block and transform it into a whole bunch of other things. So for now, I think maybe that will do. Um, I'll just build this off, off camera, sort of, most of it, but I'll give you the main idea of what I'm going to do. Um, just that stuff. I just want to build a house outside, so I've at least got something going on. Oh, God, it's night time. Cool, okay. So, if we go out here... Actually, I might cook up some stone while I'm at it. Um... You can go in there with that. And you go in there. Maybe there with that. Cool. So now that I've got this hammer as well, I can get a whole bunch more stone. So, oh, hello there. Three of them? Really? They were, they were doing some kinky shit up there, weren't they? <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, this sword's broken, I think. <laughs> Cool. Okay, yeah, the sword broke. <laughs> um, just so for now, I don't know. Just two, three, one, 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 two, three. Cool. That's that's good enough for now. And then we'll just do an entrance here, maybe, and do a few slopes. But that's the main idea. Just want to get a house going. So you'll see the house. Um, done in the next episode. Um, I usually don't like building on camera unless it's like a purposely creative series or something. But yes. Alright, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, not much has been happening, but it is the start. It's, yeah, there's not really much happening. I still haven't seen any Xenos, which is starting to worry me. Or Predators. Um, if, any of you, if any of you know any more about that, could you please tell me? Because um, if not, I'm going to have to start manually spawning them in. Um, stop. Go away. Shoo. God's sake. Anyway, yeah. That's a problem at the moment. Alright guys, so before we finish this up, I want to try chuck in at least something AVP related into the house. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to go game mode 2. Nope, that's wrong. Game mode 1. Alright, don't panic. We're not cheating. We're actually doing something so we can make a recipe. So we want a blast door available to us if we really want one. So we'll grab a blast door. Now, I cooked up some boxertite ore, which was just over here somewhere, but it doesn't really matter. So, let's get the boxertite ore. Uh, sorry, the boxertite ore yields aluminium ore. Uh, I mean aluminium ingots. And then if we really want to, which we won't worry about for now, just for the sake of showing you how it works. We'll go recipe, then we'll go shaped, and then we'll go like that. And then we will go aluminium ingot around like this, please. And then maybe instead of that, we do a door in the middle as well. So just in case we wanted to make another crafting recipe that was similar. So we'll just go back into recipe. Shaped. Select. Box to tie. Uh, sorry, aluminium like that. Then we'll grab the door. And then we'll grab the blast door. Save. Nice. Okay. So let's delete all that stuff. And go back into game mode 1. Oh, I always get that wrong. Okay. Cool. Alright. Who wants to make a blast door? I probably forgot to make the <laughs> recipe for the generator that needs to be... Inside the blast door in order for it to be working, but... Whatever. Okay, anyway. So, we've got some... I need to cook more. <laughs> While we're doing that, I'll do the generator. 
Okay, so I crashed while I was making the generator recipe, so it reverted back a bit. So <laughs> I'm gonna make the door again with the box tight or whatever. Um, what? Okay, might have a problem here. <laughs> Uh, I think um, hosting this on my other computer is having more problems than it's... I mean, it's, it's creating more problems than it would have been if I hosted it on it here. So, you know what? I'm going to try running it on my computer um, next episode. See how that goes. But, yes, the main idea was that recipe was meant to stick, what I did before. But it didn't. So, I'll get the blast door going and all that. Um, and I'll try, probably um, merge over all the save files. Into oh, that looks pretty! I'll merge over all the save files into, um, you know, the, my, my computer. So, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, why can't I pick you up? Cool. Cucumbers. Can I eat the cucumber? <laughs> nice. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Adios.